Hello everyone, welcome to Cam Tie Handmade Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to double crochet two rows at once. So as always, I don't like to dawdle, so let's get started. So it did not take me long to learn how to do this stitch. It's a fairly easy stitch. Um, we're just going to use a plain category yarn and I'm using a 4 millimeter hook. I'm going to go ahead and make a slip knot and you can chain as many number of chains as you want however long your project is I'm just going to do a quick 12 chains here you can make it an even, even number or an odd number it does not matter so once I have all of my chains I have 12 stitches here I'm going to go ahead and add five more chains now once you have your five chains you're going to go ahead and yarn over you're going to skip the first three chains and yarn over and go into that fourth stitch now once you go in you're not going to pull up a loop you are going to yarn over but don't pull up a loop so now you're going to go into the next, uh, it's going to skip two stitches and then go into the next stitch, the third chain. Now you're going to see your loops on your hook. You're going to have five loops on your hook. One of these loops is going to be kind of slanted. That is correct. Um, you're going to go through these loops. So you're going to yarn over and go through the first two loops on your hook. That includes that crooked one yarn over again pull through another two you just made your first double crochet yarn over and pull through another two yarn over and pull through another two and that is your second double crochet of the row so now I'm gonna come a little bit closer because as you can see you see this little slanted piece of yarn here you're gonna go behind that yarn there so there's a loop right behind this yarn right where I'm putting my finger um, it's gonna be behind that slant there there's a little loop right back there so you're gonna yarn over but don't pull up a loop and go right into that loop there behind that slanted uh, loop there it's going to take a bit of push at first, um, but once you get a rhythm going, you'll, you'll get it correctly and you'll be able to go faster. So you go into that loop, yarn over, but don't pull up a loop. I'm sorry, yarn over, go in and pull up a loop. Yarn over. Remember, you have that slanted one there. That's the way it's supposed to be. Yarn over and pull through only two of those loops. Yarn over again, pull through two more of those loops. That's your first double crochet. Pull through two more, yarn over, pull through two more. And that again is your two double crochets. So you just continue doing this along, going into that back loop of that slanted piece of yarn, that slanted loop. Go behind that slanted one. Remember to make sure you yarn over go in yarn over but don't pull up a loop so yarn over and go into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop you have those five loops on your hook yarn over pull through two including the slanted one it takes a bit of finagling at first and then go through the next two, yarn over, go through the next two, yarn over, go through the next two, yarn over, and go through the next two. And as you can see, it's beginning to form here. You have the two double crochets on top, one on top and one on the bottom. You are going to have that bit of a slant, that slanted piece in there. There isn't anything you can do about that. It just is what it is. This stitch is mostly for like if you're making a simple scarf 
or you're making a blanket it's a good way to get through these rows a lot faster so i'm going behind that loop again that crooked loop into my next stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two 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 and there's your two double crochets at once one on top of the other so i'm going to continue making these i'm going to do this on camera as we go um i did want to make just a small announcement as i'm making this um soon i'll be coming out with my crochet at night where we're going to sit and chat and crochet that's what it's called actually it's called chat and crochet and we're going to be working on that i did also want to inform everyone that i also do uh resin products i make coasters and keychains and things like that so i'm going to be doing some tutorials on those as well i didn't want to um, throw you guys off with all of a sudden you see resin stuff up there resin tutorials as i do both so i just wanted to give you a warning ahead of time and as you can see these double crochets are coming out really really cute i'm going to continue on here yarn over go into that stitch behind the slanted one yarn over but don't pull up a loop go into your next stitch yarn over pull up your loop yarn over pull through the first two yarn over pull through the first two uh, next two rather yarn over pull through the next two and yarn over pull through your final two stitches or loops so as you can see it's coming out very nice it works up pretty quickly and as i said as you continue to work with this stitch and practice this stitch it'll get much easier especially when it comes to uh, going behind that slanted uh, chain um, it just takes time and again as you go on you will begin to notice that uh, stitch in the back of that slanted loop and it won't be too hard to look for you can use this stitch with any size hook um, a small hook a very tiny hook or even a very large hook uh, it's a pretty versatile stitch so you can use any size hook or yarn that you want to i'm struggling just a little bit just remember to, to remember your not your gauge but remember how tightly you hold your yarn because the tighter you hold your yarn the more difficult it is going to get through these loops here so i'm going to continue making these loops on camera and you can follow along with me if you want or you can go ahead and skip past this part because the second row has to be done a little bit different than you would with a normal double crochet so i'm going to finish these off here and i will be back okay so now i have as you can see i'm at the end of the row and i have those two double crochet rows one on top of the other as i said there isn't anything you can do about that slant there but i think it's kind of cute i guess depending on what it is you're doing if you're doing something really intricate you don't want to do this stitch um but it's a very nice stitch as i said for a scarf or a blanket so i'm going to continue on we're going to move on to the next row and in the next row you're going to chain five but do not turn your work. We're going to go to the top of these stitches here. Yarn over. You're going to skip two chains. And go into your third chain. Yarn over, but do not pull up a loop. Now you're going to go into that first stitch at the bottom. So you're going to turn your work just like normal. And go immediately right into that first stitch of the row. You might need to finagle with it just a little bit. Get those loops twisted around. But go ahead and yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And finally, yarn over, pull through two. Now, if you want to, you can make that 
chain count as a double crochet if you do not want to just continue on as normal most likely you do want to count this do not count that chain as a double crochet so just continue on and yarn over go into that space behind that crooked loop yarn over but don't pull up a loop go into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and finally pull through the last two and again that double crochet two double crochets at one time is there go ahead again back into that loop in the back and yarn over but don't pull up a loop and go into the next stitch so you just do this all the way across for however long you want your scarf or your blanket to be just remember that um, do not count that first stitch as a double crochet um, when I'm working on here I was going into the last chain and I was counting it as a double crochet you don't want to do that because then you're increasing so your first chain does not count as a double crochet so you're not going to do a double crochet in that last chain of the row you're just going to chain five up and do what we did before uh, just repeat row two again so i want to thank you for watching this i'm going to continue just making these double crochets across um, these two rows of double crochets at once um, and again once you get into your rhythm you will get a lot faster with this so i want to thank you for watching i'm going to continue making these double crochet rows two double crochet rows at the same time um, just remember that your edges are going to come out a little bit wonky they're going to be a little bit um, protruding because of that five chains but it's okay you can always go around with a single crochet or a half double crochet border just to clean it up just a little bit um, the only other thing I don't like about this stitch is that that little slanted stitch that's in the front but again you don't have to use this stitch for everything you can just use it exclusively for a scarf or a blanket or if you like the little slanted stitch in the front that's that'll work too this stitch is going to show in the front or the back it does not matter you're going to see it in the front or the back of your piece so again i want to thank you for watching this tutorial thank you all to my new subscribers i am so thankful and appreciative of you all continue watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next tutorial bye bye